It's locked fast. Your shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew judges listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. That sounds like the dinner bell. Mr. Narricot, unfortunately, we are not prepared for your presence at dinner. I would be most happy to deliver you a sandwich later this evening, if that will do. That will be fine, Rogers. Thank you. Excellent. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get to serving. By all means. I can hear them all in the dining room chattering. I can't quite make out what they're saying. This might be a good time to explore the house more thoroughly. Ah, with my ear against the door, the conversation becomes quite clear. Wine, doctor? No, thank you, Rogers. I never touch alcohol. Except for sterilizing wounds or instruments, of course. I tried to collect some apples from an orchard on the island, but a bee stung me. I'm afraid I dropped the basket and ran. No need to apologize. I myself am dreadfully allergic to bees, wasps, hornets, I'm sorry to hear there are bees here. Oh, you must take care. There's all sorts of those bee house things. What do you call it? An apiary. Oh, I thought that was for monkeys. Ethel. Miss Claythorne, we've never met, but I do seem to recall your name. Oh? Yes. From when I stayed at that stuffy old hotel near St. Trednick. Do you know it? No. No, I don't think so. Really? How extraordinary. I was so shocked. Narricot says he's not Fred Fane, but his brother. It may well be, but he bears watching. Seems like such a nice man. They said the same thing about Stevenson, the child murderer. I confess I've never met our host, Mr. Owen. What kind of a man is he? Rogers? We haven't seen the Owens either, sir. We were only engaged a week ago by letter and asked to make the house ready. So no one has actually met the Owens. How extraordinary. I, for one, will have some sharp questions for the Owens when they do arrive. These are very expensive linens. I bet they're very strong. I copied the contents into my notebook.
I copied the contents into my notebook. This could use a closer look. This bears a closer look. It appears to be a portrait of the general. Must be quite old. He's standing with a very young woman. It's signed, To John, my husband, Leslie. I copied the contents into my notebook. I copied the contents into my notebook. Hmm. This is certainly a clue of some sort. I copied the contents into my notebook. This is quite a makeup supply. Emily must be more concerned with aging than she lets on. <laughs> <laughs> 